Daddies? I know, I know. Look what I have for you. I know, come on. These birds are therapeutic. It doesn't take very long sitting here watching them and their antics to just feel better. You start breathing slower, forget about the things that might be bothering you, and just kind of get centered again. My name is Rita Gluck. I live in East Montpelier. I've been here for 18 years. Three kids, great community. Everyone is open, accepting, embracing. I have a wife who I've married three times now. <laughs> we married before it was legal. We got a civil union the next year, and then 10 years later, we got marriage. I think that's what it's about. Kindness, inclusiveness, love. Well, we've got 75 meat birds, and then a variety of layers, from quite old hens to year olds. Three mama ducks and a drake. Only one has hatched out ducklings so far. She's got 13. I have one guinea fowl, a rooster named Handsome, seven turkeys, and four little chicks that I got just because they're sweet. <laughs> He's a poser. These guys really feed me. They feed my soul. They have such personalities. They feed us at the end of it. But I know they've had a really good life. I know what they eat. Pancakes for breakfast. I know that they get exercise and fresh air and sunshine. It's really important to me, especially the more we learn about things like factory farming. If you have a yard, pretty much no matter how small, you can keep a few birds. You know what I like to do is bring people out here and they end up getting chickens. Because why wouldn't you? I grew up in Wisconsin, the other dairy state. I like this one better. Vermont is more live and let live. I I'm pretty easygoing. You know, things don't really tend to bother me too much. It's been a really delightful evolution watching the progression of same-sex marriage, civil unions, full equality. Um, it's, it's hard to see us looking at going backwards at this point, but people like to think their way is the only way. It's, I think it's human nature. As a younger person, it was easy to hold on to what I might feel were injustices, personal fronts. You know what, life's too short. That's when I come and watch the chickens and to, to kind of center and come back and realize, you know what, I'm okay. It's been, it's been an adventure in a lot of ways. I've got a beautiful family. I, I live in these beautiful surroundings. I meet a lot of people. I see a lot of people. I talk with a lot of people. I hug a lot of people. And I get to go see my friends at Guy's. <laughs> I have been buying poultry and grain and gardening products probably ever since Guy's opened in Montpelier. The reason I keep going back is because I develop relationships with the people who are there. Kate's doing a great job. I didn't realize for a while that she was the manager there. She's just there at the cash register, there getting my grain, helping me get my chicks. It's great. Rita is just a really great person. We see her every single day, just about um, through wind and rain and snow. She has decided to raise her family to understand where your food comes from. Rita's kitchen. People go outside and they, they see their animals and they feel a real good sense of appreciation for them. And it's appreciating the food that's on your table. I think our birds taste a lot better than just store-bought food. It's nice to know that the chickens we're eating aren't just locked up in pens for days. We eat really well. It's one of those things that's important to us. We love chickens! Mom's not here with us, but she'll be back soon. <laughs> <laughs> Montpelier is also a really familial type community and they do absolutely support her lifestyle and, and why not? It is a great city. I'm, I'm proud to work there and I'm proud to live here and I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs>